I was born in Ukraine. The name of the city is Kharkiv. Mm -hmm. I was a uh, little girl. Well, in Ukraine, I was six years old. What I remember you? my house, my grandparents, my mother, father, they were living with us. We have uh, a little uh, backyard and the neighbors, they were good. Uh, I had all the sister, which died of pneumonia, and she was buried in the backyard because we didn't have those years, they didn't have a cemetery. Uh, it was a spring because we saw the flowers coming, blooming. My father was working in the station, train station. He was a conductor. And one day he came home, he says to my mom, pack up every, anything you can put in the bag. We have to leave. My mother was start crying, says, why? Why we have to leave my, my house? He says, he says, because the uh, work gonna start. She said, but I cannot leave my house, I can't let my cow. And he said, no, we have to leave everything, right now. And we, she, she took a bag and she put anything she can, a little bit of food, a little bit of bread, and uh, clothes, and we went to the station. When we went to the station, there was a lot of people standing around to take the train to go away from this country. And we back in the station, the people fighting because there was no room, but we got into them. And we were, this, the train left at night, and we were traveling, we didn't know where we were going, nobody told us where we were going. And we traveled a lot, many days, many hours, without the water, without the food, people dying in the train, a lot of kids died. They had to throw the corpses outside because they're not keeping in the train. We got to this uh, country and the train stopped. And the <coughs> conductor came us to us all and said, this is a different country, we have to stay here. And we stayed over there for months. And the, the war continued, the bombing, we can hear the bombing, the bombs coming down. We didn't know what to do, we didn't know what was gonna happen with us because we were refugees. Then uh, one day, uh, this uh, gentleman came here, was a, a soldier. He said, we have to live here, we cannot stay here. It was very dangerous. Just follow us. And we left that city without nothing. Just what we have, the clothes on the body. And we went to the, this book, there was a war. And we stayed over there and drink your water from the roof because we have nothing. My father, uh, they took him for a war to fight. We didn't know where he was, just me and mom and another couple. And then one day we were uh, this city, we didn't know. And the soldiers passing by. And my mom was sitting outside like this. There was a book, the war, and she was sitting like that outside. And she looked and she said to us, Oh my God, make me emotional. That's my husband. He had a beard like of his face, beard like long like this. But my mother recognized him by the hair. He had a wavy hair. And she said, Oh my God, that's my husband. And she ran to him, and she, he recognized my mom too. And we all ran to him too and embraced him. And that's the way he met.